How are you doing? I'm Sparky Pal and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Last time we managed to save David and Shirley. Awesome. Oh, look. Oh, nice. This ca uh, this castle doesn't really have much logic, does it now? Okay. You know, the construction of this castle confuses me. Oh, hi. Is your head okay? You look like you got punched out. It's fine. You just need to look out for yourselves. Thanks. Would it be alright if I came with you too? No. No. Look after your daughter first. Okay. Poor girl. You sure it'll be alright to take that baby face with you? Are you jealous? Ask the baby face to his face. What does my face have to do with it? Because you're a baby. <laughs> Anybody in the bathroom? No? Wait, what? Okay. I'd be worried about the window if I were you guys. What are you? Oh, if you want to save too. Oh. Say, it's death thing, isn't it? There was a loud sound somewhere. Wait, did the spikes retract? Don't tell me. They didn't. I don't know what happened, okay? Whatever, let's just continue. What am I supposed to do now? Got this place. Can I find anything? Push the cross back. Okay. And what did I do? Climb up the cross. Why? What? Don't tell me. You're going to walk along those? There's no other path. Don't like it? Leave. Oh god. He's gonna fall. Are there gonna be those, you know quick time events where you have to tap something really quickly oh no surprise okay um what's in that door A large bed with a canopy. Let's dance to the piano. A music box. I'm not gonna play it. Actually, I am. My music boxes are nice. They're suiting. <sighs> nice. Father gave me some wonderful presents today. A clown doll, a music box, and a grand piano. He said the three are all part of a set. The doll laughs if you turn its key. Today, one of the servants was singing a song in their savage language. I decided that rather than tell father, I would ask what it meant. It goes as such. The sun shines on the mountains and wind blows between the trees. The wind rustles the flowers and gl glitters from the moonlight. It may be uncivilized, but I must say I'm exceptionally fond of it. I was bored today, so I asked one of the servants as to all their names. They sounded profoundly bizarre. They said they were they were N V D O E I G A E H I. Oh God. Apparently, Atsilski was his name, but he wouldn't tell me what in the world it meant. How impertinent he was with me! I took offense and decided to tell father. He was rightly enraged. How dare he te teach such wild words to my darling daughter, he said. 
This morning, as I stepped outside, a strong wind blew, and along came the head of that servant from the other day. Without thinking, I said to myself, how dirty, and kicked it away. When I told father of it, he had the head burned at once. He supposed it may be good fertilizer for the fields, but the head that speaks such an uncivilized language, I would think not. What? What? Dried flowers hang on the wall. This is messed up! Oh god! This is messed up! Oh, hi. I don't like you. 16th evening, Punchinello. I know a Punchinello, the moon said. The audience rejoices whenever he appears. Every moment, every movement he makes is so comical that it brings roars of laughter in the house. The theater was his ideal world. If he had been tall and handsome, he might have become a great tragedian on any stage. His soul was filled with all that was heroic and great. Still, it was his fate to be a Punchinello. His very sadness, his melancholy, heightened the dry wit of his sharply drawn face and aroused the laughter of the vast audience, which lustily applauded its favorite. The last page of the chapter is torn out. Oh. A large clown toy. A small piano. Terrifying. Help me. I like this music box. The music box's key fell out. Okay. Wait. What do I do? There's a small hole in the back. Okay, do I put the key? What? What? Oh well. <laughs> Stop doing that. Something fell out of the clown's mouth. Got the scrap of paper. Ah. I hate clowns. I hate a lot of creepy stuff, actually. Cipher for the room of secret. Secret. What? The genealogy from A. Adam. Noah's Ark. The Tower of Babel. Can I... Oh, I can take it. I think I'll need it later. Oh, hi. A corpse tied to a chair. Poor guy. Oh, God, David. A corpse tied to a chair. Looks like he was shot in the temple. That's terrifying. Hi. A grand piano. There's a keyhole on the cover, but it has a strange shape. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. I'd need it. Wow. Anything else? Okay, I need to open this as far as I know. And now what? Is there anything else I need to... Oh, hi. There's a switch on the interior frame of the piano. Press the switch. There <sighs> Hi. Oh, God. David, I'm gonna kill you. Hi. The painting is open like a door. There seems to be a room inside. Oh. I'm gonna die. 
What? <gasps> Clowns. Mm. The bookcase is mostly storybooks. A scrap of paper. After the performance last night, the poor little man strode out of the town to the lonely churchyard. The wreath of flowers on Columbine's grave had already faded. There he sat, and what a study for a painter, with his chin on his hand and his eyes turned toward me. He looked like a grotesque mo monument, a punchinello on the grave, strange and comical. If the public had seen their favorite, how they would have applauded that cry, Bravo, Punchinello! Bravo, Bravissimo! That's so sad. Hey, detective. Up to your silly profiling, it seems. Say, why don't I try doing the same? No. You're always carrying a little box with you. A precious little black box. A treasure trove of all you hold dear. Don't you notice the smell from that box? It's, you know what it is, don't you? Do you think you're better than me? Do you want to kill me or befriend me? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Who do I pray to to straighten out this? Crooked tongue. A poem is written on the frame. Pierrot Lonaire. Pierrot, my laughter have I unlearnt. The image of radiance dispersed, dispersed. Black waves the banner upon the mast. Pierrot, my laughter have I unlearnt. Oh, now return to me. Souls veterinarian, snowman of lyric, your lunar highness. Pierrot, my laughter. Oh, that's sad. There are old toys on the table. A large clown doll. This is gonna try to kill me, isn't he? Run! Oh God! You Hate okay? It. Sorry, I just felt kind of. I don't expect you to be unfazed by a sight like that. Sorry, I couldn't tell till I got close. You know that corpse was strange. Strange? How so? The other servants were found dead in what looked like living spaces, but this one's way out here. Not to mention, I found this on the floor. Ammunition? So they were shot? All the others were caught unaware and stabbed. This one was tied to a chair and shot in the head. Seems it was a struggle to the bitter end. Is this just for show too? I think we get the idea by now. I... I'm not too sure either. But yeah, it's odd that he could use a gun. I wonder why that is. Damn it. I should be able to figure this out. God, this feels awful. I feel like I'm missing something. Something I should realize with some thought, but I'm just not noticing. My brain just hasn't been working lately. Why is that? I guess because I'm not enough of a man to solve two problems at once. Oh. I'm so sorry. I think I'm done with this place. Hi. Um, an iron door. It's locked. No. Uh. Okay. There's a small engraving, uh, engraving on the frame. 
until they are ready to begin the battle, lined up in their camp behind the battleground. The foolish soldiers will not move an inch, and even the gatekeepers will sleep on the job. Excuse me? I... I don't like you. I don't trust you. A large club. Okay. This place. Oh, chess. Can we play chess? Pieces are arranged on the chessboard. Oh, I need to remember that. Don't I? Ah. Uh, wait. Oh, hi. What do I have to do? A tall iron gate with stone statues in front. Keith, do you think you could climb over this? Or do you think I am? There's no way. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 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 oh. No! Wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Okay, okay, okay. So, the picture says that the battle... If the battle hasn't begun, that nobody will be doing anything, so... Do I have to... Do I have to arrange them like this? Uh -huh. Wait. The battle hasn't begun. I have to arrange the pieces the way they should be arranged on the board. Don't I? Okay, okay. So where's the rook? There's the rook. You have to be there. Come on, come on. No, wait. No. No, 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 no. No. Fuck. Uh, oh, it probably wouldn't be it anyway. Wait. Maybe I just need to push them to the side, just in the line they were standing. I don't know. I'm dumb. I don't know these things. Stop trying to make me turn smart. Because it won't work. Is this okay? Probably not. <laughs> What the hell am I doing anyway? Is this okay? No. What do I do? It says the battle has not begun. That's it. Or... Wait. Is this okay? <gasps> I did it! Oh, so I just had to push them back off the board. I took way too long for that. Okay. Now that I've solved this incredibly hard puzzle that made my brain hurt and melt, I'm gonna end this episode here. Hooray! I need my brain to rest a bit. <laughs> I'm just too dumb for this stuff. Oh well. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, press the like button, and if you want to see more content by me, press that subscribe button over there, it shows me great support and makes me feel all warm around the heart and all the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, if you want to try this game out yourself, you have a link in the description down below, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it as well. I mean, just like I did. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, but don't forget to stay Bye!